Hey guys, we have some really cool new technology. Uh, in this room, we have a lot of new digital printing machines. DTF is coming along, but with embroidery, it's always been kind of a spot color process. Each color in the design, we had to put a spool of thread in the machine. And with a uh, color reel here, what you're able to do is mount this machine over any embroidery machine in the industry using white thread, and it is actually dyeing the colors as it's sewing the design. So, Aaron, is that, is that essentially how it works? Yes. And when you have something digitized, you're actually putting it on the machine and the color reel, and they're communicating together. Yes. And what type of file is it? It's not your typical DST? It's a DST for the embroidery machine. You have a CSE file for the color reel. Okay, and our, when it comes to digitizing, is it pretty easy for the digitizer to put that together so that you have both the DST and that file? Yes, yeah, so you, would, you would pull it into your uh, Color Real Studio, okay. the DST file, and you can colorize it as you want to in the Color Real Studio. Okay, so essentially I'm taking my digitize and you guys, are, your software allows me to then finish the job. Okay. And again, we're using a Tajima in this example, and it's sewing an owl with a ton of colors. I mean, it still looks like a spot color in this example. So I think that's something that people ought to assume that, oh, just because I can only use this if it's a full color graphic. Not necessarily. I mean, I don't want to have to thread. If I have this as a one-off, I don't want to thread all that, just do one thing, exactly. when I can use one color of thread and accomplish the same objective. And, and in a way, you could do a spot process. You could let the color reel do that, and then I could put some metallic thread or something right. in yeah. and really make it pop. Yeah. And how long has this technology been around? Uh, about four years. About four years yeah. now. And at, do you think it's been perfected over time, or has it really been kind of the same over the four years? Yes. No, it's the last two years it's gotten better. It's gotten better. Yes. Do you see, do you know if this is more popular in Europe or? Um, the United States wise, more popular on the West Coast. Okay. Um, we have, we sold like 40 units in the U.S. last year. Okay. Um, Europe, it is popular. I mean, it's from Sweden. So okay. it's made in Sweden. And how much is like uh, the head setup that goes around this thing? So the stand, the unit, installation, 35. 35. Okay. Might sound a lot like for a lot of people, but the point of using technology is to make you more efficient. That 35, one, you can do things that you couldn't do before, oh, and two, your employees aren't having to rethread oh, so much. And I imagine because you don't have to do all that rethreading, anybody can operate this out of the box a lot quicker than having to train them so much on, on how to use that machine. And what brand of thread do you guys suggest using uh, here? Madeira. Madeira, and it's, it's not uncoated. just your typical. It's uncoated. uncoated polyester. Uncoated polyester, just a little bit more than yeah. your typical 1800 yeah. Yeah. Uh, would be. And it's really cool in here because I could see the ink dampers and everything. I mean, it's yep. kind of like it's a DTG DTF machine up there, dyeing the thread as it's coming on. And you can see the, co the ch color changing. I mean, it's incredible. Now it's doing black, but it was brown a second ago. It's also a lot faster because we're not having to do a bunch of trims and stops and, and all of that. It's just exactly. sewing. And it's really incredible technology. Um, like I said, I'm not always one to like to buy something when it's six months old. Four years, yeah. it's pretty well established. The kinks have been worn, oh, yes. taken out. Yes. Now, we got a single head setup. What if I got an eight head? We can do multi-heads, different stand. Different stand, obviously. Yeah, it's huge stand. Um, but I've done install for a six head, four head. Okay. Uh, so that is possible. Wow. Well, that is really cool stuff. And again, I know you said it can work with any machine. Yeah. There, can, there's yeah. none that, that works better or worse. No. It, it all no, is the same. Thing. And it's not like they're sacrificing this to not be able to do that. Right. You can still do your very typical spot and so forth, but anybody who's ever used Madeira thread knows that it's great, and I can't tell if that was dyed or if that was actually that specific color, and Madeira has 400 plus colors, and I don't feel like stocking 400 colors, and I bet there's colors that you can create with this color reel. Over 13 separate. million. 13 million colors. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's like going from a CMYK to an RGB palette. Yeah. Much more colors are available.
That's really cool stuff. So where can uh, people go to learn more about Color Reel? Uh, you actually can go to our website at Hirsch. Hirsch. Or um, ColorReel.com. Great. This is one of the very first things you see as you enter the room. Um, Hirsch is a very big company. They know what they're doing. How long has Hirsch been around for? Uh, 68. 1968. So uh, you guys provide the tech support to install and oh, so yes. forth. I mean, it'd be kind of crazy to buy this thing and not have you guys come out and install. No, I actually, I actually do the color rail install myself. Wow. And you have a, is this a laser here? Is that just on this Tajima yeah. or is that? Yeah. Okay. It's just a safety feature. All right. Well, thank you very much, Aaron, for your yeah. time. This is pretty cool stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and anybody maybe, has a question, maybe you could get something. Come to Hirsch. That we did that yeah, yesterday. check out these. And oh my gosh. Yeah. We're talking about things that would be very difficult and sometimes absolutely impossible to do with your traditional embroidery. Well, that's really cool. Thanks again, Aaron, and right. check out Hirsch and Color Reel, and uh, contact them if you want to learn more.